Closing off over here for the World Sports Betting 24-7 online support. Phillies and Mares, 76 handicap. We're ready and gates go back and they are off and racing. Chronicles of Narnia right up there. Cavians, Cara. There's a bit of speed from the outside draws. Rainbow Thief wants to be on speed. Global Goddess has got the blue cap and no time is taken. Is also in a good position. Only three or four of them. Definitely maybe around that. Bonnaroo. Then comes Burning Moon who's racing about five lengths off them. Can't Catch Me is behind that. Chronicles of Narnia is now racing seven, eight lengths off them. Then comes the Grey. Silver Slippers who languishes towards the middle half of the field. Further back is Vizo's Magic. Then comes on the inside of that Holly's View. Budra towards the back end. Further back is Dame of Flames and that's a long way in behind as they crack on and Bonnaroo sped across, got to the lead and now says catch me if you can under Richard Faree. No time is taken to the outside. Then comes Global Goddess. Rainbow Thief has been hooked out for a run with Silver Slippers. Then can't catch me but Bonnaroo is in a galloping mood has now put daylight between itself and the rest of the field and often gone like a dirty shirt. Bonnaroo wins a cracking race. Second very close. Silver Slippers right there. Vizo's magic on the outside. Chronicles of Narnia. No time he's taken. And then came Holly's view. Richard Faree from that sort of a draw got the source out running and speeds off to go on and win a good race. Well done to Mr. AJ and Dr. D. Schechter. No stopping Bonnaroo in the eighth race this afternoon in Klaberga. Second will go to Silver Slippers, number 11. Third will go to number eight, Vizos Magic. And then it's a photo, number 10, no time is taken, involved with Chronicles of Narnia. Here's the numbers, 4, 11, 8, and 10. 4, 11, 8, and 10. Those are the numbers. We'll hand you back to the studio. Two more to come. Thank you very much. Welcome back. And yeah, when they look so good, they run so good. Bonnaroo looked a million dollars, won accordingly. And um, yeah, getting the honors here for the grooms, representing the grooms from the Grief stable. Justine, lovely. I'm sure they're going to enjoy this. I don't even have a microphone to, <laughs> to give to you, but well done. And uh, yeah, make sure that it ends up where it belongs. 1,500 Rand. Thank you. All right, there we go. Thanks very much to World Sports Betting. Let's get, let's get Richard Farine, yeah. He was a jockey aboard as well. And I'd like to get his feedback because I went, wow, when I saw this was going to post. Richard, well done firstly. And did it give you the same type of feeling? Yeah, look, uh, as you say, went down beautifully. Big striding filly. Uh, oh, she felt good. And mm. yeah, a little worried about the draw. Um, and she, she's not very happy in the gate. So she did jump a bit sluggish, but she recovered really fast. And with her big stride, you know, being drawn the worst of all, I could just wait for her to get into her momentum. And, you know, before I looked, I was in front by two lengths and I could go to the rail. So uh, I didn't want to ease too much on her around the bend because she's got that lovely stride and she was so balanced and I turned into the straight. I gave her half a squeeze and it was there already. And I said, okay, let me just sit a little bit longer and, um, you know, just, yeah, <laughs> and then have a go. So lovely win. Uh, well done to all the owners involved to Mr. Khriyev, to his team, and obviously to my sponsors at, at Winning Form. Tremendous. Well done. Obviously, she's going to get a bit of a hike in the rating now as well, but doesn't matter. I think we're going to watch her go on because her last two runs have been oh so easy. I think it's one to follow. Yeah, look, um, she, she tries. Uh, obviously, she's got that breathing problem, and uh, uh, it's a lot like that uh, cult of Zitzmans that likes to bolt to the front and he gets away, you know, yeah. so she'll be that sort of horse. And, okay. Um, you know, she'll win a couple more and, you know, probably head off to start eventually. All right. Well done. Thank you. Thank you, Richard Free in the winner's box aboard Bonnaroo. Kenova coming to the picture, representing the hubby that's sitting at home now and these days cheering up. He won the feature earlier on today as well and things are going according to plan. Has the phone rung? Has he phoned you yet? No. Not yet. Okay, so he's going to phone after this. You see, he knows that you've got to first have a couple of minutes to do the talk. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we go. Now, let's just chat about the colours, Dr. Schechter's colours. Yes. Because I go back a long way in this industry. I had also with Duma Kutsia many, many years ago, the late Duma Kutsia, and Dr. Schechter was a part owner there as well. Well, he was owners, in, he had runners in those days, a long time ago. He's been around a long, long time, and it's so nice to see, even at this age and stage of his life, that he's still involved. 100%. Dr. Yeah. Schechter's been involved for many, many yeah. years, and it's nice to see he's brought his son, Alan, in as well. All right, so Alan will obviously stay in the game? 
I hope so. <laughs> Very keen, loves his horses. Yeah. Dr. Schechter, a day doesn't go past that he picks up the phone and says, Al, what's going on with the horses? Where are you running them? What they're doing? He just loves, he's very passionate about the game. All right, well, now you're going to get a phone call shortly, I'm sure, and uh, well done to you guys. It's turned out to be a decent day. Thank you very much. Well done, Jennifer. Thank you very much. There we go, another winner for the Grief Stable this afternoon out at Fairview. It's our World Sports Betting Race Day. It's been a good day so far, and we've still got a couple of races to go. Races coming up this afternoon. You can go right through to race 10. <laughs>